For many reasons. One reason, freedom. If people want to use it and it doesn't do harm, like just like Oregon showed, let them do it. That's Chuck Schumer, Senate Majority Leader, talking about legalizing pot. He wants it to be about freedom. While all but three states now allow marijuana in some form, it is still illegal federally. It's listed as a Schedule I drug. New studies show it's far from harmless, as Schumer said. 16 million people report being addicted. Among 52 million Americans, 12 and older, now 52 million Americans say they have used marijuana in the past month. Nearly one-third of users say they can't quit. So it's a real thing, and it's far from deemed totally safe or harmless. Thanks to legalization, potent pot has now been found to cause psychosis, especially in young adults. So it's a real problem. There's some real questions about the unintended consequences of legalizing marijuana, something the pro-pot folks don't like talking about. And it's interesting because Schumer's pot advocacy this week comes after a stern warning about nicotine last week. He wants to outlaw or heavily regulate Zin. They are non-tobacco, meaning just the drug form of nicotine pouches that you put in your mouth. Pouch packed with problems, high levels of nicotine. So today I'm delivering a warning to parents. So in other words, high levels of nicotine well, we have a problem, high levels of THC. It's about freedom. And full disclosure, after our story last week about Schumer's Zinn crackdown, I tried Zinn for the first time. It wasn't fun. It turned me as green as Kermit the Frog, and our graphics department has illustrated exactly how I looked on Saturday night. And I know my mother's watching, and I will hear about this after the show, but I feel being honest with the viewers is important. That said, it was my choice, as Chuck Schumer would say. It was freedom, freedom to be Stupid. So if marijuana can be a choice, why can't nicotine? We're not talking about tobacco. We're just talking about nicotine, a drug, just like THC. Our guest last week had an answer. There is a sort of illusion that these are massively youth appealing, and that's the reason they come huh. in flavors. But that's not the case at all. With nicotine pouches, only 1.5% uh -huh. of youth have even used them. So it's like a lot of things these days where there's a divide in America. Marijuana is the drug of the elite. Thus, pot shops all over Brooklyn and close to middle schools are just fine with Chuck Schumer. But Zinn packets are all the rage among young white men, including the person who let me try it. Yes, the freedom to be stupid. But those Zinn packets, according to Chuck Schumer, must be stopped. Pot should be legal. We'll see if Schumer gets his way on either front. You can let us know your thoughts about this story and others at warnotes.com. That is our newsletter. Sign up for free. 4 p.m. every day gives you our take on the most important stories of the day. So if you missed the show, you know what we're thinking. You can forward it to your friends. You can also respond on Twitter and Instagram at Leland Vittert. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.